Okay, make sure you clean up the, the gasket surfaces here, lacquer thinner. This is just a kitchen abrasive sponge. It works pretty good. Get some of this off here without introducing any metal shards. So I'll clean this up all the way around on both surfaces. Be prepared to put in the new one. Okay, so let's get the gasket in the place. And utilize a couple of these little hanging hanging pins here. There's one. And the other one. So that's a that's a big help in placing a gasket like this. Now I should mention since I couldn't get this mount out without pulling the engine, I had to cut a little piece out of the gasket. For some reason they run it up above the mount here, this lower uh, mount hole. So I had to cut a little bit out of there. No biggie. It's better than lifting the engine out. Okay, here comes the big old cumbersome cover. Again, I'm feeling a little thankful for those pins that they put on there, making this job rather easy. Okay, now remember there were 11. I'm going to turn these in in stages, crossways, evenly. And I'm not going to show all this. It's going to take a little time. I'll come back when I'm ready to put the torque on them. So we'll gradually snug these up. Some you can get at more easily than others. I'm, just doing, I'm going to just do them gradually. There's no particular order on these. Just don't go nuts and tighten one up before you, you know, before all the others are tightened up. Just kind of do them. Take your time gradually. Some you can reach a couple of them here that you can hardly even reach uh, with a socket and wrench. You have to get a wrench up, a boxing wrench up in there. When you're all done, finish them off to a torque of 18 foot pounds, including the 13 millimeter water pump bolt here. It's also 18 foot pounds. <laughs> okay, torque these to 18, and you can get at them, most of them, without too much trouble. There's a couple of tough cases here, but I brought them up gradually. Okay, I'm wrapping up these three engine mounts. You know, there's no way you're going to torque these to any kind of get a wrench in there. At least I can't. So I'm just <coughs> and I'm good and tight. Sometimes that's all you can do. Okay, so I'm going this thing back in. Okay. Looks like we need to jack the engine up a little bit more. We're a little bit low. Somehow we got a little bit low, so I'm going to jack that back up. Okay, this would be a good time to actually get this air conditioning line on there. Okay, now we have the two bolts for the mount from the top. And then there were two bolts that fit in the wheel well. Okay, these two are 15 millimeter. I'll just snug them up for now. You got a little never seize on these. These really came out kind of hard. You go down in here. Okay. Okay, we're done with our jet. Be torquing these mounts down now. I couldn't find these posted anywhere. Put them at about 55. Maybe a longer extension. 
do the other one the same. Yeah, 55 seems to take strong for that one. Okay, let's mount this one for the bracket. Looks like we ran out of thread there. Okay, this 15 millimeter doesn't have to be torqued to high heaven. Snug it up. Good. Okay, now the cruise unit was on top of that. Another 15 millimeter nut. And power this one on. Again, not a high torque operation here. And up here, cruise mounts on the strut tower. Looks like that's a 13 millimeter. Finish that off. There we are. And that does the engine mount complete. Okay, the serpentine belt tensioner goes up here. And there's a little guide hole there as well. That screw's going to get to go in first. No way you're going to get that in there. I get a 15 millimeter um, wrench and turn this in further. We'll just continue to turn this in. Okay, feel for it when it's in that little alignment slot. Finish cranking it in. So you want to torque this to 37 foot-pounds. You put a little clean oil around the seal and on the uh, on the surface so of the pulley here. You got to put it part way in and line it up with the uh, oil pump, and then it goes the rest of the way on. And you have to put a new crank bolt in this one. And now for the crank bolt. These aren't reusable, so we got a new one from GM. Not too bad. Usually prepared to cringe at the uh, dealership parts window, but this was seven dollars. So here comes the fun part. What I've done now is I've jammed a pry bar in there and it's up against the floor. It's going to hold our harmonic balancer or our crank pulley in place while we attempt to torque this to 74 foot pounds. So the spec is 75 foot, 4 foot pounds plus 75 degrees. So what I've done is made a mark on the bolt and then another mark over on the crankshaft at um, my estimate of 75 degrees. 90 would be about here. So I came back that far. And that's our target. Okay, to get this 75 degrees additional, we've gone to 
the big guy, 24 inch breaker bar. See where that got us. And we're part way there. Get going to shorter breaker bar in an attempt to uh, get a little better radius, but I don't know if we can get any force on it now. Okay, looks like I did. Well, something moved. Okay, we're closing in on it. Case handles there and back and forth between the two breaker bars. So I'm See. Yeah, there we are. Our marks are lined up. 74 foot pounds plus 75 degrees complete. Do the belt. We put it on the uh, alternator first and bring it around the air conditioning compressor here. And then it's got to go around the tensioner. If you notice there's a square opening, a square cutout in that tensioner. And that's where we're going to put our 3 8 inch ratchet right here. Now you can see I pull this up. The tensioner goes up. Okay, this is... So you got to lift the tensioner up like this and then uh, slip the belt over uh, the final pulley here, crankshaft pulley. So this is the tensioner right here, and when you put the belt on, you have to put this ratchet in the square. It's a 3 8 inch ratchet will fit into the square hole in here. And when it's in place, you can lift the tensioner like that. And it takes a fair amount of, of, of torque to do it. Uh, and the belt itself just runs underneath this idler, the part of the tensioner, and over the top of the... Uh, over the top of the uh, alternator over the top of the alternator around the air conditioning compressor and then back around the, uh, the sprocket the crankshaft sprocket remember as you're reassembling it put this panel fastener back in say this would be one of the first things you want to do and clip the wire or wire harness back on there okay remember to slip this underneath on the top of the wheel well here there like that I'll snap into place now it's just a matter of putting all the fasteners in here one two three here and there's four or five of them underneath, and one up here. This was a smaller one up here, a short one. So we'll put those all back on. Okay, we're going to put the wheel back on and set this thing on the ground and move on to part six, the final. Put the valve cover back on and check this thing out, see if it'll run. Stay tuned.